black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Well, it's been what, like a month? Yeah, I know. So, I don't even really know how to do this anymore. I'm kidding. It's just eating on camera and talking. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I've been away. And there's good reason for that, and we'll get into it. So, I got some McDee's here, and uh, I'm very, very excited for this due to the fact that I've been very, very sick, very ill, and that's why I've been away. But I'll tell you exactly all about that uh, as we eat here. So, I haven't had a nice, dirty treat, a dirty meal uh, of this nature, of this sort, in quite some time due to my illness. So very excited. Uh, I went big on us today. Uh, I have a double Big Mac, so four beef patties, uh, the 10 nuggets, of course, and a large cries with, with, uh, with that order. First things first, let's see if McDonald's is gonna play with my emotions here. Of course. <laughs> Would you expect any different? Like. <laughs> why just tell me why tell me why <laughs> there's just meat flaps falling out everywhere this is not a strip club i don't need to see meat flaps flopping out of the bun every which way also is there no cheese where do they put the cheese okay one slice all right i see how it is and once again things on the bottom layer on the bottom layer player man these guys and their construction, I'm telling you. Subpar at the very best. All right, we dump the nugs. Nugs are dumped. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. It's a barbecue ting. And, uh, a little catchy. Don't even ask me why. I've never done it before. I've never crossbred McDonald's with Hidden Valley Ranch. It's never been a thing. But for some reason today, I'm feeling a little wild on my return. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to get a little cray cray with it. And actually, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm intrigued to dunk a nug into ranch. I've never. It could be blasphemy. It could be blasphemous to Dunkin' Nugget Ranch, but here's to trying new things. Judges say it's a no for me. Sweet and sour sauce is just designed for these. For these, they're they're made a match made in heaven. Just has to be. All right. So, what happened to me? Where have I been? Great question. Wish it never happened, but it did. If you watch the my last video that I uploaded, the mac and cheese, you'll notice ab about three quarters of the way through, I mentioned rubbing Tiger Bomb on my neck, and that I had a big like red mark from rubbing Tiger Bomb on my, on my neck because. I had initially thought that I slept wrong and like, you know, like kinked my neck in my sleep and my neck was in pain and hurting and on fire. That's what I thought was wrong. Turns out that wasn't the case. So my neck was like swollen. And, you know, my lymph nodes were getting swollen and stuff. But, you know, I never had a cold or anything. I didn't have 
a sore throat or blah, blah, blah. But I just had the swollen neck and the swollen lymph nodes and whatnot. So whatever, whatever. I'm kind of ignoring it really at this point. I'm just not, it's whatever. I'm just living my life still. And then, uh, my sister from out of town came into town to visit and she's a nurse. And I was like, yo, riddle me this. My neck's been kind of really hurting. I had like a crazy migraine for like two, three days in a row. It just feels like shooting sharp pain up into my brain. And like my neck and my neck's swollen and my lymph nodes are swollen. So she has like a feel around and she's like, yeah, that's cause for concern. How long has that been a thing? I'm like about a week now. So yeah, you need to go get that checked out. Uh, so meanwhile, though, during her stay, like she got in on a Friday, uh, that night, oh yeah, the double big boy. Um, the Friday night, I had a recording session, so I'm like with my boy in the studio. I remember when I was heading over there, I was feeling kind of, I was just feeling tired, woozy, run down, just not great. But, you know, I had a chance to be in the studio, whatever. And when I'm recording, I always drink. So we drank some, some booze and, you know, I got pretty drunk, but, you know, not crazy drunk. So good. And so the next day, I had to go because my sister was in town. My uncle got us these tickets to this play that was made by Sting, which was like stupid, but I had to go to it. So I'm like with all these old farts in this theater, but I'm like, I haven't been to the doctor yet, but I'm clearly sick. Like, but in my head, I'm like, Whatever I drank last night, it's just drink. I just drank, hungover, maybe a little bit of anxiety, whatever. And I'm still trying to be like having a good time. Like, I'm trying, you know, my sister's visiting, right? She wants to go out for dinner and I had a couple drinks at the theater because I was like, well, I need a hair of the dog. Maybe that'll fix me. By the time dinner rolled around, I was just wiped. Took my sister out for a quick ass dinner. I was like, I gotta go to bed. I just have to sleep. Like, there's no way I can't not sleep. I just have to sleep right now. So I crash out. And uh, she ends up flying out. Like she wasn't here for like two or three days. Flies out. And she's like, go get that look job. So now for the next few days, I have these like, my belly, my stomach was like bloated. I just felt like I couldn't eat. I had this like sharp pain in the upper left of my abdomen. That was for like a few days. And then I had these, 
for two two or three nights I had these like drenched my bed in night like sweats just I sweat like bed was soaked for so these crazy night sweats for a couple nights and so I'm like okay I gotta go up and check I gotta go to the doctor go up to a walk-in clinic super busy Go see this doctor. Checks me out. He's like, "How long has it been like this?" I'm like, "About two weeks." He's like, "But you didn't have like a cold, or you didn't have like a any sort of like throat symptoms, or like anything like that." I'm like, "No, I just had like these night sweats, this belly bloating, a sharp pain in my abdomen, the the lymph nodes, he crazy headache, all at different times over the course of two weeks." He's like, well, usually with like viral stuff, like um, mono and whatever, all that type of stuff, you usually get like strep throat or a cold first or whatever. So he's like, I could send you for, for blood work now, have a look, and then in two weeks, come back. If the swelling hasn't gone down, we're probably looking at something a lot more serious. But if, if the swelling has gone down and your other symptoms subside, like if the sweats stop and, you know, the belly gets better and whatever. And by the time I'd seen the doctor, the, my, my stomach was actually almost better. That was the last day. It felt kind of weird. Um, so. He's like, if you come back in two weeks... And that's all gone kind of thing or you know almost it's just a viral infection you probably got mono something like that that's your body just fighting it but uh otherwise it could be could be something way worse so i'm tripping out just the way he described it the way he was he was very he made it seem very sinister So, uh, I was tripping for a while. I, I got the blood work done. Um, and then the blood work came back basically saying that there was like some of my num numbers were off, but it was also saying that there's this like what's happening in the blood is just indicates that. I have an acute viral infection and that my body is basically fighting it and it's uh, it, it was suggestive of mononucleosis which is mono which is the kissing disease which you get from usually by hooking up and weird sexual activity risky sexual activity so I looked into mono, I looked at all the symptoms, everything that I was experiencing was exactly the same as mono. So, uh, uh, what, what happens when you have mono is it enlarges your spleen, which is in the upper left part of your abdomen. So they, that's what they say. Like if you have a sharp pain there, you should probably go to the ER because it, it, it has the ability to rupture because it gets too big and too inflamed and too swole. But the thing is, that if you have mono or anything like that you're not supposed to drink alcohol at all because that like contributes to your spleen and liver enlarging while the virus is in there also making it enlarge so it's like double bad so i guess what what was happening was i didn't know what was going wrong with me for like two weeks in the initial stages of the virus and i was drinking on it thinking i had just pulled my neck
So that explains why my belly was all double the size and like the sharp pains and everything like that. So I kind of put my mind at ease, but you know, I just basically had to be on bed rest. I lost all my appetite. I've just had like no appetite. Just basically drinking fluids, resting. I still had to go to work some days because I still got to make money, which sucks, but still had to push through. Those were rough. Um, but for the most part, just I've been laying down, chilling, sleeping, watching a lot of anything I can watch, YouTube, movies. I've been watching a lot of poker. Poker is very relaxing for some reason or another to watch. And, uh, yeah, just like had no desire to really eat much. And when I did eat, it, it was like very basic and plain and like fruit juices and like soup and things like that. Today, right now, is the first day in, like, weeks that I've even felt close to back to normal. Going back to work tomorrow. I managed to take seven days off in a row, which allowed me to, like, actually lay down and sleep. Which is, again, the only thing uh, that you can do for, for having this thing is it's time and rest. With mono, you can't take a, a drug to get better. You literally have to let it run its course and just like drink fluids. So that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been rough, dude. It sucks. It just makes you so tired. Like, fatigue. Like, your mind is fatigued. Your body is fatigued. Or you just feel, like, weak. You just feel out of it. Just not up to snuff, you know? But... It's been, they say it takes about anywhere between two and four weeks. Could take six for the actual, like, dis or virus to get fully sort of <clears throat> resolved in your system, like your body to fight it fully. And then they say, you know, all your other symptoms, all my other symptoms have been gone for a while other than the tiredness and the fatigue. Um... But they say that that actual energy thing, like the fatigue and the tiredness, can last uh, two, three, four, up to six months of just feeling kind of not fucking great. So uh, I'm hoping that that's not the case. From what I've seen so far, I think I should be fine in the next... I feel like, realistically... I'll be like fully back to normal in two more weeks. Just judging on how I've been, how I'm feeling and how I'm coming around. And I still have yet to see how like multiple days of work in a row will affect my current state. Because like my job's like nine, ten hours of like physical, like standing up, like no sitting down, no breaks. So... We'll see how that all plays out. But I think I should be fine. So yeah. You know, that's what, that's the main reason why I've been pretty much gone, but 
there's other factors at play too that I, I could elaborate on, but obviously this video is coming to an end and we'll have to save that for another one maybe, but basically some, like a pretty big change is coming in my life in the next little bit. And we'll see how I'm gonna make it all work. But um, the biggest change coming up is going to be beneficial for me in the long run in terms of money, monetarily, and just like getting myself a nice little foundation uh, to maybe get some other shit going. So I'm pretty excited for it, but at the same time, it's just like a kind of a, a sh weird transition, but... Anyways, I'll let you guys know about it in another video. That's all for this one. That was delicious, and oddly enough, I didn't think I'd be able to eat that, but I pretty much killed it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, until the next one, which I can't guarantee when the next one is, uh, you know what to do. You gotta eat good, you gotta live well, stay true.